Hey again, YouTube. I was searching for image upscalers on GitHub a few weeks ago and stumbled across a project that could be used alongside Stable Diffusion to produce some interesting output. Frame Interpolation for Large Motion is a machine learning library published by researchers through the University of Washington and Google Research, which takes near identical images and interpolates a number of frames in between them to produce what is in effect a slow motion animation. The published research code will output both the raw frames and the assembled animation using a pre-trained machine learning model, so they've already done all the hard work for us. Before I dive into the setup, if you want to try the model out, there are a few Google Colab notebooks available. They're linked in the project's GitHub page, but they're also in the video resources down in the description. Also down in the description is a link to a short around two minute animation I made by stitching the individual interpolated videos together. It's not very refined, there are a few jumps, but I wasn't being overly careful when selecting the image pairs. It was just a proof of concept that turned out a little better than I expected. I'll have the necessary installation commands listed below, but I'm going to go through the installation steps pretty quickly. A lot of the setup relates to CUDA, which you may already have configured with another machine learning project. You're still going to need to reference the project's GitHub page, which is probably good practice since the code can change with these things pretty quickly. Running film requires an NVIDIA GPU with at least 6GB of VRAM from what I can tell. I don't know anything about AMD and the ROCM, but you may be stuck using Google Colab. Interpolation will consume all of your available VRAM even if you have a 12 gig card, and it requires a lot of RAM or swap space. I only have 16 gigs of RAM in my system, but it still chugs along in spite of using up all 32 gigs of swap space. I'm going to be working on Windows 10 in this video, but the actual run of all the frames for the demo video was done using Linux. The installation procedure for both is essentially the same though. Before we can go ahead installing the film project, we need to get the system and the environment set up. For the system, we need to install CUDA, CUDNN, and according to the devs, CUDA Toolkit 11.2.1. If you install another CUDA Toolkit version, adjust your paths in later steps. Install the full CUDA Toolkit and keep note of the path name for later. You'll need to sign up for a login on the NVIDIA Developer Portal and agree to a bunch of click licenses to download the CUDNN libraries. The devs note that you'll need to download CUDNN version 8.1.0 for Windows with CUDA 11, 11.1, and 11.2 support. If you install a different CUDA version, you'll need to download a corresponding CUDNN library with support for that version. After downloading CUDNN, extract the folder named CUDA into the CUDA Toolkit installation path. By default, this is in your program files, NVIDIA GPU Computing Toolkit, CUDA, and then V11.2 directory. Next, tediously add a bunch of paths to your system environment variables. Type environment into search, and then click the edit environment variables, or find it by right-clicking the My Computer icon and opening the advanced system settings. In the environment variables screen, find the path variable and click edit. On the next screen, press add, and add these paths one at a time. If you haven't downloaded Miniconda, head over to the Anaconda site and download a version with Python 3.9 for your system. Once it's installed, open a Miniconda prompt using the Start Menu button. Create a new Conda environment using the command conda create-n your environment name, pip, and also python equals 3.9, and then activate it using conda activate and your environment name. The developers suggest running a test TensorFlow install before moving on, so to do that, type the following command, and then run this command. you find both of these down in the description below. You should see a message referencing your GPU and saying something about creating a job or task on your device. If you see messages about missing DLLs or CUDA errors, verify your CUDA paths and versions. Head on over to the project's GitHub page and find the Git URL under the arrow. Copy it and load up your Conda environment. Clone the project using git clone and then the project URL. Next, change to the project's directory and install the requirements using pip install r requirements.txt. Your terminal output will look different than mine because all the packages in my system have been cached earlier. Install ffmpeg using conda with conda install c conda forge ffmpeg. FFmpeg is going to be used to assemble the output video file. Find the link down below to the pre-trained model files hosted on the Google Drive by the developers. Download all the files and the directory structure by using the download link that pops up by expanding the little down arrow here. 
put the downloaded pre-trained underscore models folder in the film directory. The directory structure should be the same as noted on the GitHub page. There are two sample images included in the project download in the photos folder. You can run the project code using these two to reproduce the test output, but I'm going to move them and run two images generated with Stable Diffusion instead. So here's the image pair that I'm going to run. These images are 896 by 640 pixels, and I'm going to run them with a value of 6 here, which will produce a total of 64 frames, and a roughly 2 second long video file. Running these with a value of 8 would produce 256 total frames. It's difficult for me to say how long the interpolation will take. Uh, my system is bottlenecked on both the CPU and RAM, but it seems to take roughly about 3-4 to four minutes to run the 6 iterations. To interpolate images, with your conda environment loaded, run the command python-m and then the directory of your installation dot eval dot interpolator underscore cli. Specify the image directory using double dash pattern. Specify the model path using double dash model underscore path. Double dash times underscore to underscore interpolate does as it sounds and double dash output underscore video tells the interpolator to output an mp4 video of the stitched frames. The command line can be found down in the description and in the documentation of the project's github page. So here's the output produced by film for this run. I'll go through it a little like a flipbook to show you how the image changes. And here's a run with a value of 8, with a much greater variation between the two mostly nonsense images. Animated magic fog with no animation required. Neat. The project code has a couple other modes, like generating a single image between frames and a higher resolution option, but I'll leave those for you to play with and maybe I'll cover them in another video. This one was mostly just me stumbling upon a really cool machine learning project that could have a lot of really cool uses if people smarter and more creative than me pick it up. If you have any questions, let me know down below in the comments. I'll try to work through them with you, but I'm pretty new to this one myself. Thanks for watching.